In College Park on Sunday, it was Maryland defeating Georgia Tech 61 to 50. They did it with defense. The offense wasn't necessarily working, Dan Bonner, but they had enough defensive heroes in this game uh, from some unlikely quarters. And then a guy who played, I thought, a well-rounded game overall and became their leading scorer, and that was Sean Mosley. Well, I think that what they got is they, they got the offensive contributions they needed, and Sean Mosley was a very critical part of that, both offensively and defensively. And Mosley actually... I think his biggest contribution, he made a couple of three-point baskets. He hit 10 out of 10 from the free throw line, which really helped seal the game. But he did a great defensive job against the leading scorer for Georgia Tech, Glenn Rice. So he mostly played well bo on both ends of the court. And, of course, uh, Terrell Stoglin came in as the much-heralded scorer for the Maryland Terrapins. And, and true, for into the early part of the second half, he had 14 points, including seven in 45 seconds of play. And still a guy that you have to account for. I think Georgia Tech did a good job from keeping him from really going off but his contributions were at the right time for Maryland well after a, a, a sort of a frantic first half where there was very little scoring I thought Stoglin did a great job getting him going in the second half and then I thought he contributed defensively as well and Stoglin we're taught we always talk about his offense and he can get his offense very very quickly he's very dangerous from beyond the three-point arc he made three threes today but he does a nice job he's able to get in the lane and Daniel had a chance to talk with Terrell Stoglin after the game today a win by the Maryland Terrapins. All right, Terrell, you came in. It was a sort of frantic first half where very little offense. Uh, what was the key for you guys? The key for us, our offense wasn't running, so the key for us was just play defense and just continue to just do what we were doing in the first half, just keep that lead like we had in going into halftime. Well, now you guys did an outstanding defensive job as a team against their two leading scorers. Talk about that a minute. I mean, all practice long, all week long, we were just working on containing them. They're great scorers. Um, we did an excellent job today, and we got the win because of it. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, James, you did another, again, great job inside with that offensive rebounding. Uh, you know, tell us about how, what your approach is. Uh, first of all, I miss a lot of layups. So I just go get them once after I miss. <laughs> but other than that, I just got to go get the ball. Um, I, um, it helps my team um, get the rebound. So defensively and offensively, I try to get as many as I can. Well, now let's talk about your team for just a second. How do you feel about the team? Where do you think you guys stand? Uh, as the season get older, get older, we're getting better. We're a young team, but um, every day we're getting better. Um, we're trying to form a defensive identity, and we did a great job with that today. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. All right, thank you. Uh, James Patchett has a hard time hiding his offensive rebounds. He nearly got a double-double today, 14 points and nine rebounds. But the leading scorer was Sean Mosley as the Maryland Terrapins powered to their second win in ACC play with a 61-50 victory over the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets.